Helldivers 2's creative director responds to a person on Twitter saying that this game is better than Halo at large, and I got quite a bit I want to say on this, including some people making a, quote, Helldivers 2 experience on Forge. So let's go ahead and jump into it. You'll want to listen to this. So... UN Leashed said this on Twitter, sorry Xbox, but everyone knows it's the truth. Helldivers 2 is better than Halo. What? Well, the creative director, Pylestead, said this in response, Why compare? Just let gamers love and enjoy both, either or neither. We need more compassion and union in the world and less rivalry. Now, he does go on to say more, but just to comment on what he said here, I do think that comparing these two games doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like he says, why compare, right? Just love and enjoy either or neither, right? Both of these games excel in their own special ways. Obviously, I love Halo. I'm married to Halo and always will be because of its music and its story and characters. But Helldivers 2 also really does excel on the gameplay and sandbox front. And it's something that Halo fans have come to love about Halo, right? The sandbox and the physics and the wackiness. And this is something that the game does really well. So honestly, when you compare these two, I feel like they're almost cousins, right? I mean, they're both baked in the same, it feels like they're both baked in the same kind of kitchen, right? Uh, so to speak. So my buddy Elite Falcon and the Forge Falcons, his team are gonna be creating this Hell Jumpers, basically Hell Divers 2 experience in Halo Infinite with support strategy stratagems and AI and random procedural objectives. They've delivered in the past before. Of course, it's not going to play exactly like Helldivers, but it's going to have a lot of the same, you know, features like drop locations and you no know, cheating and squad leaders and stratagems and defenses and mines. Speaking of fan content, this person actually created a really cool piece of art. I'll link it down in the description. This is by a user on Reddit, Tylian. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced your name, but this is a really cool poster art and also a bit a friendly rivalry this person said can be a great thing but it should stay friendly and pile said indeed also in business neither monopoly or cutthroat competition makes the world a better place and to be completely real with you guys look Helldivers 2 is performing a lot better than Halo Infinite ever did. And what I mean by that is the engagement and the positivity are performing better. I don't know exactly what the numbers are, but I do know that they are very high and they are definitely beating Halo at the moment. Now here is a rather heartbreaking way of looking at things and it's something that I just kind of occurred to me recently. And it's that Halo is still well and alive, but it exists in other games. It's somewhat like metaphorically the spirit has left Halo and has gone into other games like Helldivers. And this is frustrating because obviously I want Halo to have good games. I love the characters, the weapons, the music, and the story, and all of these great things. And so it's frustrating to see that where it's really doing well is not even in Halo itself. Like these elements that might not necessarily even belong to Halo still exist out there. It's just not in the form that we really want it. If they announce Halo 7 tomorrow, who knows how how many Halo fans would wake up and be excited, and if it was like a new studio too, that would be even better because, well, that's a whole other thing is 343's name is kind of tarnished. But getting back to this, I think Helldivers 2 could be a really good game for a mod, like a Halo mod. It would also be really great for collabs. And there's been some like, quote, clickbait, I guess, of people saying that the Warthog was coming to Helldivers 2 or appearing in Helldivers 2. But of course, this is not happening. This is just an armored vehicle, but it definitely made me think about collabs and how easy it could be for, you know, ODST armor to appear in the shop or something. I would totally buy that. And honestly, looking at this game, looking at the space and the industry, just zooming out a little bit, what the hell happened? I mean, we had triple A games like Halo 3 and Modern Warfare 2, and those were like the two titans fighting each other and stuff, but we had tons of other triple A games, and now they're all garbage. I mean, they're even calling it quadruple triple A or whatever, and it's so annoying because they're all garbage. We have indie games by Arrowhead here that are performing better than behemoths like Call of Duty and new Ubisoft releases and Halo releases, right? It is battling with the titans themselves, and so if the triple A space 
or whatever, the golden tier of companies cannot get their shit together, including 343 Industries, I feel like they will die. There are no rules anymore when it comes to the Titans and AAA games. It is whoever makes the AAA games, regardless of the studio, regardless of the branding. And I can see this myself here, you know, why am I still talking about Halo, I wonder sometimes, because clearly there is a lot of better games out there at the moment that are performing better. Now, I say that loosely because I will always love Halo. I am married to this franchise. Clearly, this is my special interest. It's just frustrating to people that have been staying so loyal to the series for so long, like you and me, Mike, likely if you're watching this, and to see it continue to get trumpled by indie studios. It's like the more money these corporations have, the more established they are, the less able they are to do the most baseline function, which is to create a fun video game at launch, right? They depend entirely on the stock market. That's why I feel like any company that is public is not really going to create any good games anymore. That's why like, honestly, Microsoft, is not going to really produce good Halo games anymore unless something fundamental changes. Unless we get lucky with some really good leadership, like if Phil Spencer takes priority or something, it's just it's just so often about the bottom line and investors. And I think that's the problem, honestly, with a lot of these corporations and, and why Helldivers 2 is performing so well. And so I'm really glad that the creative director took the high road here. Clearly, I mean, they must know that a lot of what they've done here was an inspiration to Halo. I mean, it's very clearly similar but that's not to say that this game copied Halo. And I've been having a blast with this game. I like to pretend sometimes, as stupid as it is, it is a Halo game and that the bugs are the flood or something like that. I'm such a freaking nerd for Halo. But look, I think that Halo has a lot to learn. Microsoft, unfortunately, is very reactionary. And so when they see a game like Halo Online, Abandonware being turned into a functioning PC game that people are starting to go into in droves, then that's when they fix MCC and put the games on PC, which we've been begging for way before that happened. And so now that there's Helldivers 2, there's these games that are starting to mimic Halo, it just hurts because Halo is still here. I still have a lot of hope for this franchise. Halo 7 is in development. There might be potentially up to three games in development at the moment with two studios outside of 343 working on the games. Even though that is not 100% confirmed, I do suspect at least one is. I still have a lot of hope for this franchise. It's just sad to see that the spirit of Halo is starting to leave its body of, of, uh, in, a, in, a, in a metaphorical sense that Halo has kind of transitioned into other sci-fi series in a way. And it pisses me off because Halo has iconic characters, iconic gameplay, iconic weapons, iconic music, man. It's got everything it needs to, to have. And now... You know, some people are saying, how could you say that Halo has been given up on? They just put $90 million into each season of the Halo TV show. Please do not get me started. Literally, I have a very strong suspicion here, and I'm going to spoil a little bit of the TV show here, season two, at least up to episode five. And that is, there's not any more fight about the Covenant, I think. I genuinely think that Jimmy Rings is going to go fight Oni now, right? That's, that's basically what Joseph... Morgan, I think the, uh, I think that's his name. I forgot the guy that plays Ackerson was teasing on some public article that it, basically the whole show's conflict changes at the end. And I, I genuinely think it becomes a political thing, right? So anyways, I'm just saying all this because I got to get more stuff off my chest. It's really frustrating because I'm enjoying this game. I'm having a lot of fun with Helldivers 2. I think there's a lot of potential here and a lot of things that 343 and Microsoft could learn from, right? They are not going to be able to create a game that people enjoy as long as they worry about the money because this comes from a much more genuine place, including real microtransactions, the return of genuine microtransactions, buying armor, buying helmets under two, three dollars. This makes sense right? This is respectful. 
people are tired of them spinning out garbage, right? We are so tired of modern gaming, and that is why indie games like Power World and Helldivers 2 is taking over, and, and quite frankly, and as respectfully as I can, fuck the industry, constantly ruining games for the past 10 years. I want to see more of this, right? This reminds me of what it means to be a, a tasteful gamer, right? <laughs> a man of culture or a woman of culture. Sorry for the spicy rant. Had to get more things off my chest here, but I will catch you in the next one soon. You guys take care. Peace.